Okay, picking up from the red sofas that we had to have made because nothing would fit into the house. Um, here are these gorgeous, gorgeous cobalt blue sofas that, well, I'm telling you guys, everybody comes over and says they're so comfortable. They love sitting here. And Alf and Allison were just with us last night. We had a blast. Here's our little coffee table that belonged to Judy. My mother has been with me in my life for so long and traveled a great distance to be here. Constance's wind-up toys that were featured at the Wheat Chief Pub are now proudly presented on this wall. And a beautiful Australian wreath made by Fleur Social in Nuri Ijpa. She changes out the flowers for me according to the season, which is nice. Those are the gorgeous French doors Marcus made to the bedroom. And then we have a dining table when we, oh, look, there's the bobcat, the wine barrel, and all the storage and all the stuff, or I should say shit, that's in our yard because our yard is just full of shit right now. What can I say? There's the gorgeous room with the great big glass that we put in after the council gave us approval. <laughs> Marcus is so smart. Two ficus trees I found in Riverton. I drove with the beautiful bases and the ficus trees hanging out our window at about 20 kilometers an hour home because I know they're going to be perfect once they get moved towards the pool, outside of the pool doors. Okay, here we go. Stepping inside to the Maxwell House. Look, look, we have our first light, our first light ever outside the home, which is just so uptown for us. So here we go. Welcome to the Maxwell House. Marcus's paintings. Yes, we still have a newly painted bishop red wall above the mantel, above the fireplace. Marcus did make this gorgeous fireplace with the beautiful marble. I don't know, this is a new addition. I don't think this was like this when you visited, but in any event, looks super. We use the fireplace all the time. Um, so then I'm gonna to go to the left. This is our study. This is our beautiful little study, which features one whole wall of the Stevens family for Gordon's special birthday when we all gathered. Also, hmm, Marcus at a very young age and then some pictures that were featured or taken after Gordon's celebration of life service. And then more pictures of the Stevens family when, um, Matilda's mother, Mary, died. Everyone was together, and, and I just thought it would be very special if we had. Anyway, this is the Stevens Wall here. Then we move over, and you can see outside. There's us married. Hello. A little corner desk, which features lots of different photos of everybody from every era, every year. Lots of different stages. There's the gorgeous Tess. Marcus is, well, everyone's beautiful mom. Michael, Simon, and Marcus's mom, and Tess was named after Tess, so how gorgeous is that? And then we move over here. Marcus's paintings, this whole room is filled to the brim with Marcus's paintings. Marcus made these bookshelves, these gorgeous bookshelves on either side of the sofa, and Michael and Karen, Simon and Mandy, when you come, this gorgeous little blue sofa is a sofa sleeper bed. I still don't think it's going to be long enough for your legs, though. So this is a cute little room. This is a great room. Sometimes the girls gather in here while the guys gather. Oops, my filing's out. Sorry. Gather in this other room. But it's really fantastic. New pendant lighting. We have so much pendant lighting that Alice and Ben and Indy were here when the electrician put all the pendants in, and she told me I needed to have a pendant intervention. So we're stepping down into the kitchen which is the most used place, of course. And nothing really has changed in here. I don't think we've done anything different in here since you've been here. Marcus's great Islamic tiles. The beautiful little outdoor area where we go. And I have developed a little garden bed there. And we do have, oh, look. Oh, I don't think you can see because of the sun. I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, here is, now look. This is the dining area. So here the long table has been moved on the inside. Marcus made a banquette for me and we had the cushions covered in cowhide. Constance's beautiful cat tie paintings. Pendant lighting, more pendant lighting. It's so groovy. I got these from London. I got these from the French bedroom company and I am so mad about them because it's so us. 
a little great area in the very, very corner. A credenza here, a gorgeous little rug. And then for our birthdays, I asked for all children to send us pictures of themselves and pictures of anything that they loved. A car, a dog, a partner, a child, didn't matter. So we have these two beautiful, great big pictures and we don't have any space to put them anywhere. I don't know where I'm gonna put them right now. But the point is, anytime one of our children wants to change out a photo and put in a more current one, they can do that. And here's Alf's gorgeous painting, Marcus's gorgeous painting. This is our little corner nook here, which is funky and groovy. You can see the pendants in the mirror. And then outside, look, veggie pods. We have tomatoes, and we're growing beautiful basil, dill, every single, every single spice we need is out there. It's fabulous. Well, not everyone. Then we step up into here, and no, it's not cream. No, it's not white. No, it's not beige. No, it's not taupe or mushroom. It's beautiful apple green, and this is our guest room. And once again, Michael and Simon, here's a beautiful bed and a teeny tiny room, which is so funny. Everybody thinks the little um, end tables are doll furniture. They're not, but I still think this bed probably isn't going to be big enough for either one of you. Anyway, everybody falls in love this, with this room. They don't want to leave. Those are Constance's cherubs from a long time ago. They were hanging in the um, love shack at the Wheat Sheaf. And now Allison... Allison put a little color in them and we've hung them here and it's really quite bizarre. So anyway, this is our guest room. We love it. Another of Marcus's paintings. Another one of Marcus's paintings out here below. And then here's the mad painting. I love it. It's bizarre. And there's Marcus, a drawing that Alf did ages and ages and ages ago. And then this little nook with the beautiful vase from the jam factory. So I'm going to turn around. There are the veggie pods and show you. See how quaint, see how lovely. I'm not going to take you into the bedroom because it's where I study right now and it's just not very attractive, nor am I going to take you down to the loo, which is bright brilliant blue the way Marcus wanted it and the bath area is still the watermelon color so we haven't really changed that either. Um, so anyway I guess the biggest addition are the lights, the beautiful lighting, new color, new paint, a lot of Marcus's art added all around and it's just it's just comfortable. It's just a beautiful space in which to be. And it's little, we don't need anything big. Good God, I don't wanna take care of anything bigger, that's for sure. So anyway, fast tour, I'm rambling now, of the Maxwell House. I love that painting. Um, and we still have so much more to do. I'll keep you posted as much as I can down the road. Thanks, love to, love to all. Please come and see us. Please come to Kapunda. Ciao.